Totally. Where do you see it? Sure. Dead center screen. Good eye back. Oh my oh, goodness. We'll yeah, I didn't even see it. Yep, this is Aperasturus. Probably. Yeah. Uh, maybe not. The dorsal fin isn't far enough back. Oh this God. is our first shark of our, our Palau expeditions. Our nice. First Yay. Shark. Yay. Max has been waiting to see a shark. I have been wearing my little tiger shark keychain in the hopes of manifesting a shark. This is <laughs> definitely a juvenile. A baby shark? Another one of the cusk eels in the background, but yeah, Jeez. this is a very small individual. It's like there's a lot of juveniles on this sea bound. Okay, well, come on. Who fit in your pocket, like the keychain? <gasps> yes! The Baby cutest. shark, do 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 do. You had to pull that one. <laughs> so what I want to see, this could be a lantern shark, possibly. Yeah, um, go for it, Max. I'm looking for the spines in front of the dorsal fins, which are most certainly there. The one in the back is really tall. That's beautiful. So this is probably in. This is an etmopterid shark or a lantern shark. Uh. There are many species, so I am not going to try to guess which one. But these uh, these sharks are, as their name implies, lantern shark. They are covered with very small light-producing organs all over their bodies, which you cannot see in this video. And these, these sharks glow. There was a recent study that came out just a few years ago on the bioluminescence of these sharks and they actually highlight those spines that you can see on the dorsal fins and this is kind of like butterflies advertising themselves to be distasteful by providing lots of bright colors the thought is these sharks highlight their spines basically saying don't touch me don't don't eat me i've got these nasty spines on me that's cool like a poison dart frog yeah like a poison dart frog it's called uh in the case of the dart frog or the butterfly it's called aposematic coloration and in this case the term has been coined aposematic bioluminescence wow that was very cool scientific names. you got it yeah, yeah you were right <laughs> on the money there oh is that a ray Ooh. oh yeah it is oh, yeah. nice nice the glasses are working <laughs> oh this is cool is it a skate this is a plesia batis I love these rays. They're so down. gorgeous. A couple meters. Yep, I'm down. This is actually a little one. They get much bigger. How big can they get? Uh, we've definitely seen them like like even a meter across. Um, so in the tail, you can see that. Um, the stinging? Yeah, the sting thing. It's pretty thorn. Pretty incredible. I like how you can kind of see its veins. Yeah. yeah, I was gonna say, very beautiful on the, do we call them, is the correct morphology term flaps? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's wings. I am, wings. Yeah, wings sounds better. But you know, the, the fun scientific term is sea flap flap. Sea flap flap, sea pancake. <laughs> <laughs> I'll come down a little more. <laughs> very nice imagery. It's been very uh, wants, cooperative too. with us. Yeah, it's just hanging out. Yeah. Sometimes they like to give you a tour I'm like, follow me. Mm -hmm. I really see the eyes. All right, yeah, okay. I think we're good here. Yep. Otherwise, we'll stare at this ray all day. <laughs> I know us. Yep. <laughs> we got a mount to climb. Yeah, we do. Why didn't you guys make it all the way to the top while well, there was this ray? <laughs> <laughs>